Help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org link in the description. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says in this beautiful hadith, narrated by Anas radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Wallahi, so beautiful words. If we just understand them. Give me your heart and your mind. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says in this hadith that will resolve all our problems. He says alayhi salatu wa salam, whoever is concerned about the akhirah, whoever has the concern and the worry over the akhirah, and this is the positive stress, to be concerned over the akhirah, to be concerned over that moment that you stand in front of Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make him wealthy in his heart. What's the wealth of the heart? The wealth of the pocket is the money. And the wealth of the heart is what? Is happiness and content. Because all the money of this world would never make your heart rich. Whoever is concerned over the akhirah, and that's the believer that's concerned over the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah azza wa jah will make him rich in his heart. And not only that. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will gather and assemble his matters under him. Your financial, your marital, your family, all your matters, your social matter will be all under your control. You'll be control of them, not them control of you. Allah will gather all your matters in this world and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put it in your hands. You'll be control of them. You'll be at the top of things. And not only that, not only that. And the Prophet ﷺ says, وَأَتَدْتُ الدُّنْيَا وَهِيَ رَاغِمَ Allah. And the dunya, and everything in this dunya, will come to him running. If your concern is the akhirah, the dunya will run to you. If you are in this dunya for the dunya to serve you, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will make you the master of the dunya. And Allah Azza wa Jal will make you the servant of the Akhirah. Whoever has the concern of the Akhirah and the pleasure of Allah, Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala will put richness in his heart. And Allah Azza wa Jal will assemble and gather all his matters under him. And Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala will make the dunya run to him. But on the other hand, whoever has the concern of the dunya, all his concern is the dunya. All his stress is the dunya. All his worry is the dunya. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, جَعَلَ اللَّهُ فَقْرَهُ بَيْنَ عَيْنَيْ Allah Azza wa Jal will make poverty between his eyes, in his heart. Allah will make him always poor even if he's got all the money of this dunya. Don't you see people so wealthy? But subhanallah, they are slaves. 24 hours, work in 24 hours, then even get the chance to count their money. They are so wealthy, and then even get the chance to see their children. They are so wealthy, and then even get the chance to eat a proper meal. They are so wealthy, and then even get the chance to sit down and rest. They are poor in reality, and they're never happy. They are never happy. They would never ever or don't even get the chance to taste what a poor man tastes. is rest and comfort. And they are so rich. You think they are rich? They are so wealthy, they are so comfortable. They're not. They are rich, yes. They are wealthy, yes. They have a lot of money, but they're not comfortable. They're not relaxed. They're not happy. 
Why? Because the dunya is the stress. The dunya is the worry. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made them poor in their eyes. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made poverty in between their eyes. That even if they have all the money of this dunya, they're still poor. Even if they have all the money, they are still stressed. My beloved brothers and sisters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give you happiness and contentment. Allah will give you the peace that you are searching for. And Allah says in the Quran, Allah bi dhikrillahi tatma'innul kulub. Verily, in the remembrance of Allah, do the hearts find peace. It finds tranquility, the serenity. No matter how much wealthy you become, no matter how rich you become, but the real happiness comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, from remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And when you make Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala happy, Allah gives you the control of everything that is around you. The dunya will run after you. Allah will put richness in your heart. Allah will open the doors of opportunities for you. You don't need to think about your risk. Make Allah happy. Do good deeds. Please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You'll see opportunities are falling into your feet. And you can grab the opportunities and work hard and build your dunya and akhirah. My dear brothers and sisters, this dunya runs after you when you run after your Lord. Just please your Lord. Just please the nourisher, the sustainer, the cherisher, the most merciful. And see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala brings things for you from the places that you never even expected. Whoever pleases Allah, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala pleases them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes them happy. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showers mercy and blessings in their life. So my dear brothers and sisters, still we have time. We have done a lot of mistakes, a lot of sins. We have done so many wrong things in our life. Let's turn towards Allah. Let's cry to Allah. Let's shed our tears to Allah. And let's see how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala changes our life. Allah loves the sinner who repents. So every son of Adam is a sinner. And then the best of sinners are those who repent to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you really want peace and contentment in your life, then the only way is to turn towards Allah, is to turn towards the Master who will give you the peace and happiness, who will give you the contentment, who will give you the success and achievement that you are looking for. It is Allah who is kind, who is merciful, who is the one who feeds everyone. So if you are in financial struggle, if you are going through any sort of problem in your life, if you are going through trials and tri tribulations, then turn towards Allah and ask Allah for help. He will definitely help you. Help us build an Islamic studio at www.islamicstudio.org link in the description.